Okay, we've got Divi installed <clears throat> and nothing else. So we're going to start customizing. First thing I want to customize is this bottom header, this bottom um, menu thing. This is actually the main reason why I use Divi Booster is to is to change that. So we're going to go down here in our um, control panel, hover over Divi and click on Divi Booster. So this is called the footer, like the center of the footer links, and replace this with this HTML. So they give you the short codes here. So we're just going to do a copy that automatically makes the copyright sim symbol. And then you can either have it say year, like, like that, or YR does like that. I like to have the whole year. Let's put my bracket. And then you're going to put um, the name of your business, whatever that is. So this one is actually called Break Up with Your Boss. And then I like to put my um, designer link. I get linked back to my regular website. So I'm just going to put design by. Then I'm going to put a little code that makes it actually link to my site. So it's just a little HTML. If you don't um, know HTML, it's, that just makes it an active link. So you don't have to do that, but I like to do that. And then you will need to have terms and conditions and a privacy policy. All right, so I'm just going to hit save changes and we'll see it change the floor here. So I'm going to hit refresh. There you go. And this is actually going to link over to my site. So I'm just testing that link. There it goes. It works. Beautiful. Okay. Now, the next thing is going to be um, your pages. So we're going to create your pages. Now right now I'm just going to do the basic pages. So we're actually going to um, add new. I'm not going to put any content yet. I'm just building out the framework. It's taking a little while because I'm recording. It always goes slow when I'm recording. All right, so we've got a new page <clears throat> um, panel pulled up, so we're just going to call this one Home. Use a Divi Builder, Publish. Like I said, I'm not going to make any of these look good just yet. We're making the framework. So it's kind of like if we were building the house, we got the foundation done. Now we got to put up the studs for the walls. All right, and then I'm going to go to, okay, so let me just explain real quick. <clears throat> pages are your pages, like Home, About, Contact. Posts are your blog posts, so we're not adding any blog posts just now. We're just doing pages. So I'm going to go to Add New. I'm going to do the same thing for all the pages that I need. I'm going to walk you through this one more time. So I'm going to call this one About. Use the Divi Builder and hit Publish. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this while I create the rest of the pages that I'll need for this framework. Okay, now I've got all of my pages created. And if we look at what it looks like now, you can see that it's updated all of this with this craziness, right? So this is all the pages that I've made. I'm going to do a little bit of housekeeping real quick. I'm going to delete the sample page. Don't need that. And then we're going to go to settings. I want to see it's under reading. Okay, so the front page displays. I want it to display my latest posts or a static page. That's what I want. It is a static page to be home. Save changes. And let's see what that does. Let's hit refresh. Oh, now there's nothing, right? Don't freak out, it's supposed to look like that. So the next thing we're going to do is create our menu. And you can create as many menus as you want. 
for different purposes. So we're going to call this one main menu and then hit create menu. And then we're going to start adding our pages to that. So this is your menu structure. So um, you should already have this laid out the way that you want, the way that you want it, but you're basically going to um, add whatever you want to your menus. Actually, I'm just going to select all. I want them all. And it's thinking. Now that all the menus, we're going to, um, this is going to be the primary menu and hit save menu. Now we're going to change the um, palette we works, I guess. So what you do is you can just literally drag this to the side to make it a drop down. So I'm going to go ahead and create the, um, like which ones I want to be drop downs and what order. So if you want whatever order you want, you just drag it around. You want it to be like that, you do it like that. And then also we're going to, um, add a different type of menu item as well. Categories, no. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. But you can actually add custom links. So I will be adding a link to the menu as well. Let me grab that link real quick. That needs to be online store. Copy. Paste and this link text needs to say online store. That's going to get this somewhere else. Online store. Add to menu. And now I'm going to go ahead and change this um, hierarchy the way that I want it. So, okay, so now I have all these the way that I want them. You can actually change what you want it to say. So this. <clears throat> I renamed this to say what it needs to say, and then we're going to hit save menu. <laughs> My dog is scratching. Sorry about that. Okay, so now let's see what's changed on this page. Now that we've changed our menus, this is going to change. There we go. So you see how it drops down? That's how I wanted it. Ta -da. All right. So now we get to make it pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video and I'll start the next one with making it look nice.